So recently I've been seeing a lot of interesting Smash opinions on Lucario. I feel like out of nowhere, Lucario has dropped significantly in the tier list. When Ultimate first came out, he was considered to be about high tier to mid tier, and now people think he's bottom three in the game. But is he really that bad, or is he just underrated? Does he actually have potential? Or are Lucario means just getting their hopes up? Are people just saying he's bad because of inexperience due to the lack of Lucario mains, or is he really just a bottom three character? Well, I decided to reach out to all 10 Lucario mains in the whole world to get these answers. Obviously joking, but I did reach out to a couple Lucario mains all over the world, from top players to people who just play the game casual to see if they really think Lucario is a bad character and to debunk the myth if Lucario is actually a bottom three character. The first question that I asked everyone was, is Lucario a bottom three character? If not, where do you think he stands? So overall, I don't think Lucario is bottom three at all. I feel like he's around top 45. Bottom 15 to 20. Bottom 15. I've never thought Lucario was anything less than mid tier, around top 45 range. Lucario is not bottom three, not even bottom tier. I think he's lower end of mid tier. I believe Armadillo is slightly more optimistic, placing him in lower end of high tier. No, I think Lucario is true mid at best, but probably more around low to mid tier. Negative. Lucario is more of a mid tier, if not lower end of mid tier. I don't think Lucario is a bottom three character, there are way worse characters such as Ganondorf for Little Mac and Dr. Mario. I think he stands between low mid tier and mid tier. I don't think he's bottom three, but he's definitely not a good character. At this point in the meta, I don't think he's any better than bottom seven, but I don't think he's any lower than bottom four. No, definitely not. Lucario, in my opinion, is a solid mid tier character. The next question I decided to ask them was, are people just saying Lucario is bad because of inexperience? due to the lack of Lucario mains? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that people, America for the most part, think he's bad because they lack good Lucario experience. For example, here in France, people genuinely think Lucario is a high tier character. Definitely think a lot of top players don't have experience with the character because the character is hella obscure. So there's no way that they actually know how the character works. People are still surprised that Lucario Nair is basically zero on block to put into their perspective. Also, the player base, especially online with Lucario, is very lacking, so there's that too. Lack of representation at a top level makes it difficult for top players to appropriately assess his potential due to him being difficult to use consistently well. I think people think Lucario is bad because nobody plays him, and out of the people that do, there are very few that are good with the character. The inexperience is a big deal. Lucario players kinda don't exist. Me, Arma are both top five global with the character and have like two to three hundred followers, pretty much unicorns. Though some people also think he's good on Wi-Fi, which is false. Bottom five on Wi-Fi is definitely possible. I believe that it is a mixture of inexperience, Lucario's complex aura mechanics, and the lack of representation at higher levels. Not as many people are working to put in the time and effort to understand the character's meta. Yes, there are not a lot of Lucario players due to inexperience. Lucario is more of a technical character with a long learning curve. Most people saying he's bad are just saying it because of aura and the fact that he is a midway. So for the most part, yes, but there are also good Lucario mains saying he's low or bottom tier, so it's not just an experience. That really depends on what level of skill we're talking about. Low slash mid level players will typically say he's a hidden high tier mostly due to not having a firm grasp on his options nor seeing many Lucario mains at a high level. High level players have a better understanding and therefore understand why Lucario doesn't have the options to be a good character. Definitely. Take Sue as example, probably the best and most well known Lucario player dropping him. I feel like this character will be ignored more and more. Lucario needs people like Sue again, which are inspirational, famous, and of course, skilled. The next question I asked them was, do you personally think Lucario is bad? I don't think he's bad at all. 
from different point of view, I can see him being underrated. He actually does somewhat well against popular top tiers and high tier characters like Pikachu, Joker, Snake, Peach, Pac-Man, Greninja, Mega Man, and the list goes on. I don't think Lucario is completely bad, but he lacks a lot of things that his character archetype needs. However, he does have a lot of saving graces that make him not a bottom 5 character, like having an amazing air speed and dash speed, a really good neutral air, really good ledge trapping, and a comeback mechanic, even if it isn't that great compared to other characters that have a comeback gimmick. In the grand scheme of things, he's below average. Yeah, he's bad for a top level context at least, no point in denying it. I don't think Lucario is bad, I think he's just okay. I do think Lucario is bad. Not because he's unviable, I think he's inconsistent and difficult. He has some hitbox problems, and kinda plays similar to Sheik. He's extremely high execution, and has a strong need for fundamentals. Played perfectly, he can do well, but playing perfectly is absurd. I don't think he's bad, but he isn't strong either, if that makes sense. The fact that he struggles against many popular characters hurt him a lot. He also has great tools to keep him from being bad, in my opinion. No, the character can still be used. He is held back due to frame data and hitboxes of certain moves. Example, Lucario side B has too much end lag and the grab range is too short. Lucario is definitely a bad character. As the meta progressed, it became pretty clear he wasn't all too great. No, he's not bad at all. In my opinion, he actually has big potential. The next question was, is Lucario underrated? Does he actually have potential? Or are Lucario mains just getting their hopes up? Lucario mains are right when they think Lucario is underrated, but they're pretty delusional when they think that he's high tier in my opinion. I think Lucario can be pushed a little bit further honestly, but I think Lucario player base doesn't have too many players that actively lab this character, and also has good fundamentals with this game, some from a few outliers. Slightly underrated, but the difference isn't staggering. Bottom 15 to bottom 3 fifths isn't that much. I think he can win some okay sized tournaments, but it's very challenging. I think Lucario is severely underrated and has a lot of potential, especially if better players used him more. Most Lucario mains aren't getting their hopes up, but with more patches confirmed, maybe they should. Lucario is underrated and has potential. He is not viable for winning majors, though. I think he is underrated. Lucario has potential in his aerial speed and combos when they're actually utilized properly. I think that, in a way, we're hoping too much for an aura fix, but at the same time, we're complaining too much with no actual work to make use of our current situation. Lucario has potential in the hands of an experienced player who is willing to push the meta of the character just like any character. Lucario is underrated. The only Lucario mains we hear a bit of are Sue, Jada, and Vivi. I think he does have a bit of potential, but not much. Lucario is definitely underrated. He is a solid character with some very good and important confirms with using B Reverse. He gains advantage in mobility over many characters in the roster. His biggest weakness is still his lack of weight, especially after the nerf compared to Smash 4. The next question I asked them was, does Lucario win any matchups? If so, which ones are they? Lucario does win a few matchups, but in my opinion, he doesn't completely dominate or plus two any matchups in the game. That's just how Lucario works. He doesn't destroy anyone, even the low tier characters, but he can still be pretty good against the top tier characters because of his mechanic. Personally, Lucario never really won any matchups, even in Smash 4. I feel like his entire matchup spread was mostly compromised of even matchups, a very few plus ones, and a good amount of minus one, minus twos, and even minus threes. It's even the same in Ultimate, just with more characters. The only characters that I actually think Lucario does well against in this game is Mewtwo, Bayo, and Diddy, but even then I would consider them all just plus one, not even plus two. I think Lucario's only plus two matchups in the game are Incineroar, Bowser Jr., Isabelle, and King DDD. 
he does win like against a few characters that cannot take a stock or have a hard time killing examples are Sheik, Bayonetta, Meta Knight since the kill options are limited if the Lucario player knows how to avoid those kill options then he can take advantage of Aura or if the Lucario knows how to move around very well and avoid the kill confirms with B reversals. I don't think Lucario has any plus two matchups. He doesn't show clear dominance over any specific character to warrant a plus two for any matchup in my opinion. To add to that, I don't think he has any good matchups against the high tiers. Maybe Peach, Pac-Man, maybe Sheik, but that's about it. Well, in my opinion, Lucario wins practically every matchup against characters who struggle killing, like Bayonetta, Duck Hunt, and Dark Pit. Who is Lucario's worst matchup, and why? The worst matchup for me is Palutena. I know some Lucarios disagree, and I can understand where they're coming from, but Palutena is the only matchup where I feel like I can lose even if my opponent is not better than me. So yeah, for me, it's his worst. It's different for every Lucario main, but in my opinion, it's Ness and Roy. Ness just out buttons Lucario hard, and he has no out of shield to deal with it. Also, just a lot of kill options that kill Lucario sub 90 to 100%. Yo-Yo at the ledge is almost impossible to deal with, and you can't camp him out because of down B. Roy is mostly the same sense, he just out buttons Lucario, but with a sword this time. Also, a lot of kill confirms from his jab and down tilt, so he doesn't have to commit to kill this character early. He just has an amazing juggle game as well. Wolf is Lucario's worst matchup. Laser is strong, easy combos, easy kills, can delete at 70% sometimes, very good at edge guarding, large hitboxes as well. Only good part for us is his offstage. I think Lucario's worst matchup is Ken because Shoryu kills at ridiculous percents and he racks up damage so quickly. Lucario also can't edge guard Ken very well, which is one of Ken's biggest weaknesses. Lucario can camp somewhat well, but everything else is still enough to make this the worst matchup in my opinion. Lucario's worst matchups are people like Roy, Ness, and Wolf. Characters with great hitboxes, oppressive advantage states, and neutral and huge kill potentials. Shulk, in my opinion, he is able to reach us farther before we can get the aura to reach him. Monado arts can be tricky as he can switch up to account for the changes we may also make in our playstyle. Wario, Wolf, Ike, Roy, Bowser. Characters that have the ability to kill early with high power or an over overpowered kill move like Wario's Waft, not to mention anyone that can live very long. Lucario's worst matchup is either Lucina or Palutena in my opinion, because both can keep Lucario from using his movement freely, and can abuse his lack of good out of shield options, and can edge guard and ledge trap him very easily and kill him very early. Lucario's worst matchup is a tough one, because characters exploit him in pretty much the same way. I'd say he does the worst against Shulk, Monado arts alone are enough to beat Lucario, and given Shulk's range, safe moves, it's a nightmare for Lucario. Some other characters I considered are Roy, Fox, and Ken. There are many characters which make Lucario look really bad sometimes. Wario, for example, could easily zero to death Lucario, including Waft, of course. Also, his mobility in the air makes it hard to actually gain advantage with beer reversing in his, mo in his movement. Ike is also a character which gives Lucario a pretty hard time, mainly because he practically lives through his air games and can kill very early. What do you think Lucario needs for him to become at least viable, if not high slash top tier? I will try to not make it a wish list, but yeah, Lucario needs a bit more weight, a reliable way of killing, better hitbox especially on forward air and down air, a side B either working or killing better, better frame data especially on the grounded options, for example forward tilt being frame 8 to 9 instead of frame 12 would be absolutely amazing, and Sue always complained about his lack of grounded options, and be less based on aura overall to be even better. To be honest, for me an ideal patch would be like better frame data on forward tilt, better knockback on side B and back air and up air. Better hitbox on forward air to hit low opponents out of shield, and he'll be already close to being a solid high tier. 
What Lucario really needs in order to at least be upper mid tier is quite literally more kill options slash confirms. He struggles way too hard to kill both when he has low and high aura. Aura sphere kill confirms are unreliable at times. Dash back forward smash only gets you so far. Aura sphere as a projectile is too weak and Bear is a little too telegraphed at times. He needs something like Aura Sphere Cancel of Smash like he did in Smash 4, or some other streamlined kill confirm that would make him more of a threat, both at low and high aura. Some other small changes I'd like is a maybe a bit of a weight buff, shave 1-2 to two frames of startup off of his down tilt and forward tilt, fix force palm grab, but I think more kill options would really be good for the character. Consistent kill confirm at all aura, like neutral air to forward smash, would make him solid mid tier. After that, he'd need a good out of shield as an easier upgrade to consider. So maybe make grab faster in general as one possibility, or make down air bigger so it can hit people farther away from shield. In order for Lucario to be a high or top tier, he would need adjusted knockback angle on force palm and a bigger grab range, forward tilt to connect better and more damage and knockback and faster startup, down smash bigger hitbox and less startup, fix his two frame, less knockback scaling with aura on double team, faster up smash with bigger hitbox, up bigger up tilt hitbox lasting longer, down tilt less startup and, and many more. Fix side B, it's a slow command grab with a tiny hitbox. Remove aura completely. Aura actually actively makes Lucario weaker below 66-ish percent. I don't like literally needing you to hit me in order for me to win. Make forward air bigger and below him for a better out of shield, that would be really nice. As mentioned before, I think they should rework the aura mechanic so it's more consistent and stays like it's around 60-90% to 90 multipliers. I tend to hold most of my combos around there, but also can actually rack up some damage. Okay, so Lucario1 actually just gave me straight up a list of things that need to be changed, so let's go right through this list. A few changes that are needed. The aura is fine, but we need the following changes to make the character more viable without being broken. Side B, grab active frames from 1 to 3, reduce the end lag of side B by 10 to 15 frames, increase grab range very slightly, neutral air, start up from 10 to frame 8. This opens up the opportunity to interrupt other aerials more frequently. Aura sphere charge, slightly increase the charging hitbacks. Down air, reduce landing lag by 2 to 5 frames. This opens up for tech chase situations and let Lucario have a safer move after attacking. Up tilt, increase the active hitbox frame by 2 to 4 frames, increase the range. Down smash, reduce the end lag of the move by 5 to 12 frames. The move is not used at all with the same frame data as forward smash, but with less range and a weaker move. Increase Lucario's weight by 3 to 5 units. These changes would make a huge difference. But for now, all we can hope is to adapt and, and hope for the next patch. I think giving him more weight to make him go in the heaviest mid-weight, making forward tilt bigger so that it actually connects, making his forward air hit lower so it actually becomes a much better out of shield option and giving more hit stun and or less knockback to make it becoming a better kill confirm into back air giving jab a bit more hit stun or less end lag to make jab lock to forward smash be easier other than it being an absolute frame perfect move, it would make him much more viable. Giving up throw more hit stun to make it combo at later percents could help out too but wouldn't be necessary. To make Lucario at least viable, they need to completely rework the character. Aura is way too polarizing of a mechanic and it pretty much defies the character and not in a good way. There's also a ton of mechanical issues with him too, like his hit, multi-hits not connecting, force spawn grab being really inconsistent, etc. There's many more. I don't think Lucario being a glass cannon is a bad thing at all, but the problem is being, because it's a platform fighter, they're designed the way that they are. Since Lucario needs to be a really high percent in order to maximize his options, he can get exploited really easily by characters with access to very quick and easy kill options. I think they would need to make him a bit more of a rushdown character rather than a weird defensive slash campy playstyle. 
he harbors right now. The shorter short hop make his moves faster and safer on shield, give him better combos, etc. The bottom line is to replace Aura with something else because that mechanic is just way too polarizing. More weight. Lucario's weight needs to be raised in my opinion. Staying alive longer makes Lucario more dangerous thanks to the aura mechanic. With some gained weight, it'd be easier for non-experienced players to stay alive longer and make use of the aura mechanic. I would also like to see his force spawn grab become more reliable and his aura sphere coming out a bit faster when it's being thrown. I don't think he needs more combo since he already has some pretty good ones when the opponent is at low to mid percent. Forward tilt is also a move many Lucario players want to see improved slash fix to be a more reliable follow up for fast fall neutral air. Well, that was all the questions I had for them, but what about me? What do I think about Lucario? Well, let's find out. I don't think he's bottom 3, but he is at least bottom 10 to 15. I think it's kind of obvious, the lack of Lucario mains definitely plays a factor on why people are saying he's bad. Kinda yeah, mostly only because he has like little to no combos, a lot of moves don't work as intended, and his moves don't do a lot of damage. I think he's slightly underrated, again, not bottom 3, but he's still kind of low. He has potential to gain, but again, not much. Could definitely win a local, probably some monthlies, but I don't see him winning any regionals or majors. Lucario mains are definitely getting their hopes up when they're saying that he has the potential to be a top tier or can win a major. Maybe a few, he mostly goes even with most characters in the game. I've been saying this since Smash 4 and nobody listened to me back then, but Lucina absolutely destroys Lucario. But I think in Ultimate, Wolf might be slightly a bit more difficult for us. He has a good projectile, amazing airspeed, can kill extremely early, a really good reflector, a good two frame, and so much more. The matchup seems so difficult. I'd say a complete rework of Aura, but I don't think that'll happen because of how the character is designed. Other than that, I would say reduce knockback on up and down throw so that we can combo out of them a bit better. More combos, increase aura sphere charge stun so we can actually kill combo with up smash better. Fix side B. Sometimes that move just does not grab when you're right up in someone's face and they're holding shield. Um, if you angle it too far, Lucario can yeet himself in the blast zone so definitely fix up B better out of shield options and lastly make him a bit heavier well that's about all i got for you guys today make sure you follow all of these wonderful people who helped me work on this video don't forget to subscribe while you're here too i hope you all learned a thing or two about lucario today and again keep in mind everybody has their own opinions and it's best to respect them if you agree or disagree with us please let us know down below in the comments well with all that being said i hope you all have a wonderful day today